All right. So we are recording and Shamika and I were having a conversation and we decided to capture this moment and be able to share it with the wider community. So I'll hand the mic over to you. Thanks, Jacqueline. So we were just talking, we were having a good negotiation conversation and comparison and I guess strategy session. And we both just kind of had a like a moment where we realized how far, you know, I've come as um, a client and professionally. And I was telling Jacqueline, I'm like, wow, you know, I really feel like the Resilience Leader Program really prepared me to understand my worth and the value that I bring to the table and ask for, you know, what I am worth um, when approaching um, new opportunities. And so I'm really excited about that. We were, we're calling it Quantum Leaps. And yes. I'm just really excited to just be on another quantum leap and um, in this new opportunity and, and strategizing about it uh, before everything is uh, finalized. I think this is one of the meats and potatoes that we learned with um, res the Resilience Leader Program of just how to strategize and prepare for what you want and know why you want it and why you deserve it. And so I'm excited to put it all on this Excel spreadsheet <laughs> and really see Which is it. phenomenal, by the way. Your negotiation prep spreadsheet is one of the best I've seen. Thank you so much. I've learned a lot over the years and um, I love how you support the total package, you know? And we also talked about like this time around, um, really asking for what you need authentically from not only just salary, but training and other things of that nature. So I'm just really excited to um, not only be on this new journey and opportunity, but to see and have a full circle moment, especially yeah. just recently graduating from the Resilient Leaders Program. So it's really exciting. So I love that. I'm so thankful. We just had a moment where we both said we have grown together because we've known each other for many years at this point. We're trying to like pinpoint it, but somewhere around 2014, 2015. Yeah. And here we are um, now. But I would also like for you to share, you started coming back to the workshops I was teaching in Atlanta at General Assembly about negotiation. And can you share what you mentioned a few moments ago? Because I think that's a really pivotal point in terms of mindset and being prepared to advocate for yourself. Absolutely. So I have a little doggy here with me. He's, he's a mommy boy. But um, we were talking about how important it is to ask for your worth. And at the time in 2014, there was a study that came out by, um, from Georgia State about uh, the gap. The, uh, the gender wage uh, gap. Gender wage gap. And how over the course of women's lifetime, they miss out on a million dollars, either in um, benefits or salary. And that was like, really, that really stays with me when I am approaching a new opportunity because I want my children to be able to take care of me because I asked for what I was worth and deserve. You know, I don't want, at, you know, by the time I'm in my retirement or old age where I have regrets of, you know, they're not able to do what they need to do because I wasn't able to negotiate or stand up or even advocate for myself. So I think I really learned that was following you over the years and then doing the um, resilience leader program and being able to like take that mindset of the, the gender wage gap and how much we missed out on, but also apply it and couple it with my, the work of the work that I've been doing and the experience that I've gained. And one more thing I want to add on to this. Um, thank you also, because we have been working together for a long time. You were coming to the workshops when I was doing workshops several times a month. And then when the Resilient Leaders Program came along, um, you jumped into that program. You really gave it your all. You showed up. You did your homework assignments, the additional readings and videos. And that's how you got the most out of the program, because you put in the work. And every time you showed up to the Resilient Leader live session, you showed up prepared and open to learn and you were um, interacting with the other women in the program. And that was like a collective growth moment. So I wanna go back to a personal thing because as black women in leadership, we know that hair is one of the things that we have to 
um, deal with. It, it's just our natural hair, how we show up. And you said something that made me so proud. And we had a little moment where my butt lift braids were, I had to do a twirl, but can you share what you were expressing about your hair? Yeah, so to give you a little bit of context, um, I started at an HBCU where you had to look a certain way to be a part of the business school, and that really stayed with me. I appreciate all I learned from that, but it also did kind of give me a complex about my hair and it having to be straight and having to get my hair done before every interview. And this time around, I just said, you know what, I am going to wear my hair curly and I'm going to come in and show up as my authentic self. And yes. even though my camera wasn't working, I knew I was showing up as my authentic self. And it, it, it made me more, even more confident in that process and in that interview process, because it was like, I'm bringing my whole self, how yes. I show up. And it was just really, really empowering. So I guess Maybe that's advice that we can like share, like try to show up as your most authentic self because it's going to empower you, you know, at the end of the day that I am, I am who I am. And, you know, you're we're going into that workplace as you, you know, so I, I love that. I love that you brought that out of me. <laughs> you allow me to share that. But yes, curly hair for me has been a thing professionally. And um, I'm glad that I just embraced it this time around. So, yeah. I, that is so wonderful because when we talk about being unapologetic and being able to show up at work and perform at full capacity, that means being able to come in as the most confident version of ourselves, however we want to wear our hair. So Shamika, thank you so much for hopping on this video and allowing me to record and also share your experience with everyone else. Thank you for letting me be a part of your journey. We had a moment where we were both saying we both wanted to cry because we have both grown so much together. So I also want to put on the record that it has just been my joy and delight and privilege to be with you on the journey and for you to see me growing as well um, as yeah. I have been building my business. So I want to express that gratitude right back to you. Thank you so much. You are so welcome. Thank you. It definitely has been a journey, but it's been worth the ride as my dog is echoing. It is worth the ride. <laughs> You're so welcome. Thank you so much for everything.